Um, my name is Jason Gallivan and I'm a PhD student in the neuroscience program here at the University of Western Ontario. What we did in this project is we put uh, human subjects in an MRI scanner and asked them to do different hand movement tasks. And what we actually found is the activity that occurred before the hand movement was performed, we could actually predict uh, ahead of time which hand movement they would actually perform later on. My name is Jody Cullum and I'm a professor at the University of Western Ontario in psychology and neuroscience. I work here at the Centre for Brain and Mind. We found that we could use human brain imaging to determine what a subject was planning to do a few seconds later. So for example, if the subject had a coffee cup in front of them and they were planning to do different actions upon the coffee cup, like grasp it one way or grasp it another or push it out of the way, we could tell uh, based on the patterns of brain activation, which of those actions they were going to do even before they started to perform that action. So what we did is we used brain signals in the posterior part of the brain and the frontal part of the brain. And we found that these brain signals were predictive of which movement the subject would be performing. It's potential clinical implications. If you can use these brain signals um, and predict which movements the subjects are going to perform, you can harness these brain signals in order to drive neural prosthetic devices like mechanical arms that can be used to grasp an individuals with limb loss or uh, injury.